What up, boys? Bit of a different video this time around. Just doing a video on how to actually install community shaders here. Been asked a couple times. It's not very hard. So I figured I can show it. So, uh, obviously, the first thing you want to do is navigate here to the Nexus Mod page. You do want to search if you, if you can. Oh, oh. Hit that search at the top there. Immunity. Shaders. Easy. You do want to download these three files. I've already downloaded them. But they are tree lot lighting, grass lighting, and grass collision. None of them are particularly big files. Even if you're not a premium member, I don't think they'll take anything more than a few seconds to download. Ooh, they just updated this. I have to get this update anyway. Even better. Manual download. I'll show you exactly how I did this. All right, but after you have all the files you have downloaded, or all the files downloaded, you want to navigate to your mod organizer, whether you use Nexus mods or mod organizer too, like I do, whatever one you use, whatever one you prefer. Because there's a couple things you need to disable first before you enable uh, community shaders. One, if you use shader helper or, what is it, parallax helper, you do want to navigate to those folders so i know in the case of woundanik it uses shader helper or shader tools my bad not shader helper shader tools you will open that file you'll go to open and explore that just opens the file location navigate to plugins i've already removed it but there's a file in here you want to remove i can show you it real quick here I just moved it to a different folder outside of that in case I ever want to, you know, revert from community shaders. So it's shader tools DDL. You'll move that into either a separate folder or just delete it. I would recommend just moving it in another folder. Next, you'll actually want to navigate to the uh, mod packs base game folder, like the root folder. So once again, in the case of Woundanik here, go to mods, go to Woundanik, game root, here. You will want to get rid of the D3D11 file, that is for the EMB. Once again, you can either copy it in a, another folder, like I did. Which is what I prefer you do, uh, in case you ever want to go back. If this file is located in the root folder while you have um, community shaders, community shaders just straight up won't function at all. It won't even load. So with that being said, once you have those two things removed, pretty easy. You just hit Control M. And you navigate to where you installed your mods, whether you just did it through the mod manager or if you do it like me and you kind of manually put things in places. You then find the mod. So in this case, community shaders. It's the one I just downloaded here. Open. Okay. I'm just going to replace the ones that I had already. Done. So, on the page, actually, with the community shaders, there's more than one file here. You only actually need community shaders for it to work, but they do have some optional files here for parallax stuff. If you actually do use anything parallax with the roads or, you know, signs or whatever you parallax, yeah. Uh, download these as well if you want to do that and put them in this order, which is community shaders first. 
Then Shaders Parallax should be should overwrite that. Then Community Shaders Enable Terrain Parallax should overwrite that. Easy. Now I put the Community Shaders at the bottom with the other SKSE plugin files. Probably don't have to, but that's just me for organization. So those other files, the grass lighting, grass collision, and tree lots, those I just install. I don't really know if the load order matters because it hasn't mattered to me. But in terms of the order, I did grass lighting, tree lots, grass collision. Once again, it probably doesn't really matter. But once that's all, you know, set in stone, you just hit run. Game will obviously proceed to load up here. So obviously if you're in a situation where you don't actually have parallax helper or, um, was it shader helper? Then you just get to skip that step. You don't have to remove files that don't exist. So big plus. Come on, Wundanik. Now y'all see our wild was loaded while already in the game. If reshade wasn't in the way, you would see in the top left hand corner here it says uh compiling shaders. Oh, you can probably see it now, top left hand corner here. I'll say we'll do that once or twice whilst compiling your shaders. Typically it's only once when you first start it up. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install community shaders. Like I said, pretty pretty straightforward. Now, if you did want to add any reshade presets, uh, Nexus mod, you download the preset, you add the I and the I file to the root game, uh, root folder for your Skyrim, and then you can just find it from there. That, that one's pretty straightforward. You don't have to install anything. You just literally extract the file to the root folder. And then uh, once it's all started, you can hit N. That will load up the. Nope. That's the wrong button. I'll hit home. But if you hit N, it shares the button with the upscaler. If you use the upscaler, you have the option to then choose some uh, effects here. Bang, 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 bang. Done, done. Save settings. In. And that's how you install community shaders. Thanks, guys. If you uh, enjoyed the quick little video, please like and subscribe. And I'll make some more. Peace.